Well, the movie makes it look kind of imminent, as if this is happening in the near future. The truth of the matter is that nobody knows. Um, now, in light of this fundamental ignorance, people have different responses. So one is to say that because we can't foresee exactly how far away we are from human-level machine intelligence, therefore we can ignore the prospect. Uh, we can say that it will never happen or omit it from our thinking about the future. Um, another kind of response is to pick some arbitrary date, um, 2045, and then become very convinced that that's when it will happen. Um, now, the correct attitude in light of this ignorance is instead to think in terms of a probability distribution. A probability distribution smeared out over a wide range of possible arrival dates. So we assign some probability to it happening maybe uh, in 10, 20 years, uh, maybe more probability that it will take 50 years or 70 years or 80 years, some probability that it might take 100 years or 200 years, and maybe some probability that it will never happen. Um, and then, then we have to take into account this range of, of possibilities when, when we are thinking and planning for the future. Um, now, we did run a survey here actually uh, just last year at the Future of Humanity Institute where we uh, polled uh, some of the world's leading experts in artificial intelligence on when they thought we would have human-level machine intelligence. And the median answer was that there was a 50% chance that we will have human-level machine intelligence by 2040 or 2050, depending on exactly which group of people we asked. Now, in my view, this has to be taken with a big grain of salt, because basically this is the subjective opinions of these folk it's not based on any hard evidence. Um, nevertheless, it gives some indication that perhaps it's not unreasonable to take seriously the possibility that we might have human-level machine intelligence within the lifetime of many people who are walking on the Earth today.